What's up gamers, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to improve for Madden 16. In today's video we're covering reading defenses. Uh, a couple keys uh, to note here before we hop into this tip is uh, what I like to do is I like to come out in a, a spread formation. Uh, it may not be gun spread, but something that kind of spreads the defense out just to give you a quick read uh, of what you're looking at to let you see the field. So something like those doubles or uh, something like that. So the doubles on is a really good starting formation to kind of come out and just get a feel for what is going on. And one of my favorite plays from the gun doubles is the halfback circle. Now when we get to the pre-snap uh, pre menu, what we're going to notice here is that corners, safeties, linebackers, all of this gives us a, a decent idea into, into some of the popular defenses that we can face. And, and, and one of the things that we want to note is where the corners are on the field. As you see here, the corners are pressed up on the field, but there's a, there's a specific type of press that they're in. They're in a press that is stock. Now take a look here. I'm going to base align the defense now. Watch the corners. You notice that the corners move a little bit in. And also, if I press, do you see how they move to the outside to give inside release to my receivers? This is baseline press. Now, this is a very important because it tells us something about the defense. What baseline press is going to tell us is that the defense can only give a bump and run animation. So if I have a receiver on the outside like a Jordy Nelson who has really good beat the press, let me, know, let me show you something. If they're in a cover two man, and they do this where they baseline and they press. Watch what happens. You see here, Jordy's going to get off that bump and run, give us a shot to hit him deep. That's just something small that you can look at from this. Now, the other key uh, to this is that if they are in a press, if they are baseline and press like we just showed, if we put Jordy Nelson on a curl route, they're not going to be able to shade coverage, and so the curl route is going to be very effective pass lead down. Just a couple of keys there. Uh, cover 3 press will show you, and sometimes they'll press and they'll, it'll actually be in a zone. Now if it is a zone, as you're noticing, they get wider than if they're in a man. Let me show you this one more time. Cover 2 man, you see how they, sh they shift in so that they get a nice bump on the receiver. And this is just a, a really important, and, and just a quick note there on the interception, some things you can look at press coverage and different things like that. But what we notice is that if you are base aligning in a zone and you are pressing, then your corners do not line up like they do if you're in man and you're pressing. Now, this is a key because it gives us a nice read against man and zone, especially if they base align. Now, if they don't base align, say they come out and they, and they, just, they just base align, but they don't press, notice that the corners stay in. So this now can tell us, okay, this can be cover two man, this can be cover four, or, or, or some of the different disguised defenses. But, but the key notes is that you have two safeties deep, two corners up. And then you have this guy over the slot receiver. So now that this tells us is that in, in this game, we know that pressure can only come from the left side of the field. And so we'll develop hot reads to go where the pressure is not. So what I like to personally do on this play is I'll drag or in route my tight end so that if they bring pressure off this edge you're gonna see we're gonna throw right in behind it and Coral is gonna get big yardage for us upfield coming in behind the blitz. Another key note when facing uh, defenses and trying to read pre-snap is to notice if they're not over the corner. So, so one thing we may notice is that this, if they, if they maybe have, maybe this formation is flipped, and so they have it like this. So they're in like a standard four-three formation. What we like to do in this instance is we like to really take advantage of the field that we have, the quick, the quick passing, and and things like that. So what we like to do is we like to put Randall Cobb on this little smash route here, and what this is going to do is Adams is going to be able to run in a nice area of the field where he can make some user catches uh, for us. A couple of notes there with that. Uh, the key is also that if they're in a cover two. So a lot of times what people do in this situation is they'll come cover two because they're going to disguise it, but they want to try to cover for the snap throws. The smash play on the outside, you're going to be able to hit this corner run in a nice void against that. So just a couple of things to look at. but. Uh, and then one other thing to look at when we're talking about pre-snap reads is also we, we want to look at where the pressure could possibly come from. Typically the pressure, and, and especially quick pressure, can only come if they're on edges. 
Now, there are certain different, knowing the playbooks can help you also determine that. The other thing that's interesting to note is if they're baseline or if they're not baseline, and so you can notice that by coming out in a spread formation because if they're not base aligned, then this this guy is going to widen out, but you see that they are base aligned. So if they are base aligned, he's going to come back in. If they're not base aligned, he's going to go wide now. You see what I'm saying? This corner is always going to be over here because it's a nickel set. But just a couple keys with that to notice their formation, notice what they're in. Are they baseline or are they not baseline? If they are base aligned, then overload them. So we like to overload base aligned defenses to one side of the field. So now you see I have, I'm actually going to even bring my running back over here. And so now I have a lot of players on this side of the field. I'm going to overload this zone and use zone beating concepts to, to do a good job against it. So that's just basic concepts. Uh, if they're not base aligned, then you want to go into compress it. So in this situation, you're seeing that they're not base aligned because he's widening out. So what we want to do now is come into a compress set, maybe like a gun bunch, and use concepts that could potentially beat man coverage if need be. So these little mesh underneath zigs and outs are going to do really good against man coverage, uh, getting separation for us. So just a couple of little bitty little bitty things, but they make a big difference. So just notice pre-snap reads, huge deal. If you have any questions or need further explanation, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, but this is another Madden 16 tip. Guys, we're going to have plenty of Madden 16 training camp videos coming. Uh, it's one of my favorite series to do year in and year out. I think it really helps you guys get better uh, for the next season's game. So, like I said, if you need any further explanation or have any questions, please leave me a comment below.